Okay, let's let this big one come through. All right. Yeah. Okay, good. Hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. You're doing so well. Me too. Yeah, I can do it. Absolutely. It's very easy talking to you, Miss Well, Wilson. hey. You think you'd have done this before? Okay, a couple more questions. Okay, so tell me how difficult is this? You know, a lot of marriages, be they Hollywood or not, with artists, there's conflict when one person is more famous than the other. Hello, Mr. Garbage Trucks out there. But we're in the neighborhood. We just have to keep going because we're in the neighborhood. It's a, re it's a real interview. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Garbage day. Of course it's garbage day. <laughs> Are you happy for his successes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, there are some things that are brought up. When he gets to do theater, when he gets to go back to New York, that's when it's, that's when it's hard for me. Mm. That's when I'm having a hard time. Two yeah. days ago. Oh, yeah. What? Two days ago, um, the Tonys, the nominations were announced, mm -hmm. and I got to hear the nominees the night before because I'm hosting this year. And I came back very excited and told David all that I knew and the nominees. And I was expecting him to be equally as enthusiastic about that. And in turn, and understandably, it just sort of bummed him out because- Put me through a shame spiral. I'm getting to go to New York and do lots of theater and be doing that. And he's, you know, in LA with the kids doing um, not that. But that raises the question of, can it be depressing if one person's career is doing this and yours is not. When we met, we were both doing Broadway shows in New York. Yeah. And it was uh, it was a real high point. And then I got here in Los Angeles thinking, oh, I'm gonna get a TV show, I'm gonna get a movie, no problem. Mm -hmm. And it didn't happen for me. And I went into a, a pretty severe depression uh, about it all. Um, so is that why you went off to Le Cordon Bleu? Yes, it was. I was frustrated with business. Mm -hmm. I was fr frustrated with not getting jobs. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm not happy in my life. And you make your own happiness. Mm -hmm. You make your own joy. And I need to do something that's going to fulfill me. And that was really special to me, especially being in this town. Yeah. I have something. I still have something. It's yeah. still a skill. Yeah. It's never going to go away. Where do you feel most yourself? Oh, being a dad. Yeah. Being For a dad. sure, being a dad. Really? I feel like out of all these things that I do, I do a lot of things. I do a lot of things, but not a lot of things great. Uh -huh. But I think I do you're parenting. Good. You're a great dad. It's hard. It's not only hard being two actors in a relationship, but yes. also being two men in a relationship. Yeah. That's a big deal. And yeah. we share a wardrobe, and we share. <laughs> we're this, you know, we're both Gemini's. We so we're very same similar. size, same shoe size. Yeah. But we don't really share underwear. That's true. <laughs> we draw the line somewhere. Draw the line somewhere. <laughs> but I think the the interesting point of that is that we're so similar in so many ways that then when career things are in different trajectories yes. at different times, that word trajectory. it makes it more, uh, it, I don't know, it, it seems like it's more significant. When you weren't happy in your life, did it make for an unhappy relationship? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Were you taking that out in the relationship? Was that reflected in the relationship? Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the, it, the acting industry is, it's so um, difficult and it's, you, there's so much rejection yeah. on every level. Los Angeles is a town where you're just never quite enough. You, you get the audition, you get the call back, but you don't get the job. You get the call, you get the job and then you get recast. The pilot goes, but then it doesn't end up going to network. Yeah. Or you get an Emmy nomination, but you don't win. Or you can go to the Vanity Fair party, but not Madonna's after party. Like, there's always uh, a level that you can't <laughs> quite reach. That's funny. That's, that's and true. And so then when you're, when you're in your own head about it, it all spirals. It all combines. You realize how profound that was? That was brilliant. Because it's true. This town is a reflection of the internal psyche that I think everybody holds mm. is, am I good enough? That's what every that's that's the bottom line fear of every single person's problem in the world, and this town just reflects it back to you with, you know, on true. a big screen, no, on a big so screen. True. Do you feel pressure to make this work because literally the eyes of the world are upon you? Yeah.